Aggressiveness is the basis of a good attack in volleyball, not only according to Julio Velasco. It doesn't just mean closing your eyes and hitting the ball, but also using your head and attacking surprisingly in unusual situation. In this video I share with you 5 reasons why I think aggressiveness in attack is very important element. We score the most points in attack. In no other skills uh, do you score 15, 25 or 35 points a game as a player. Even if we try our hardest, we just don't score as many points by serving on, on the block as we do by attacking. And from the other three volleyball skills, reception, defense and setting, we don't score any direct points. That's also why we usually practice attack the most and want to get the most points from it. In order to think about winning a match, uh, we need to attack. Uh, without successful attacks, we have virtually no chance to win because we won't score as many points by any other skill. And just like on serve or on block, uh, without aggressiveness, we won't get a point in attack. Maximum aggressiveness in attack has always been the domain of Russian volleyball. And the uh, Russian attack uh, has always been feared by most opponents. I've played in Russia for two years uh, and I haven't seen many tips uh, in the time. Russian players are usually over 2 meters tall, have a reach higher than 350 centimeters in the jump and clearly prefer maximum aggressiveness in attack. When in Russia I play the ball safely on the block uh, expecting a cover, the coach uh, immediately explained that he didn't want me to play that way. He wanted me to have the same uh, maximum aggressiveness in uh, every hit, uh, as long as it was possible to attack. It took me a while to start following these uh, instructions. Of course, it uh, happened that the ball sometimes uh, came back uh, from a block under my feet. But I also often managed to score a point from a situation in which I would normally have chosen a different type of attack, because I didn't believe I could win a point. Maximum aggressiveness in attack is one of the good ways to think about attack. It's not only practice in Russia, but world coach Julio Velasco also gives uh, this advice. Julio Velasco says that estimating the time and the ball is the most important condition for the correct execution of an attack. This estimation of the time to attack uh, conditions the way of attacking technique. I must always try to hit the ball as high as possible, then I choose whether to attack uh, with maximum force or change the timing of the attack. Every player must have at least one effective method of attack and for most outside hitters and opposites it is the diagonal. If I choose to attack down the line or diagonal, I only attack when I see open space outside the block. For my attack, I prefer the sets from which I can attack the best. From Julio Velasco's uh, advice, uh, the basic uh, attack should be executed as high as possible with maximum force. I agree with this opinion. Especially in modern volleyball, where players are becoming uh, more athletic, uh, the type of uh, attack with maximum impact is extremely important. Uh, at the highest level, all volleyball teams are advanced in defense. Uh, it's not easy to make a direct point. Therefore, more and more power in attacks is needed to gain a point. At one time, it's a hard hit against a one block uh, to diagonal that even the best liberal in the world like uh, Zhenia Grebenikov uh, should not defend in the field. Other times, it may be an attack against a high triple block and the attacker's effort to hit the blocker's fingertips uh, with maximum force to bounce the ball into the fifth row in the tribune. Speaking of maximum aggressiveness in attack, it doesn't mean that uh, attackers should play all or nothing. They shouldn't think, uh, now I am going to put the biggest hit in the middle of the block and we'll see what's going to happen. That approach usually ends up in a block. The point is that even with uh, maximum aggressiveness, uh, we still have to think about uh, where we have to the best chance to score a point. Let me give you an example. Imagine you are playing the final game uh, against Russia at the Tokyo Olympics. You are Erwin and Gapet. Your team uh, defends a tough attack by Maxim Mikhailov and blocker sets you a good high set to position 4. You run up uh, the attack and see a high triple block uh, forming on the other side by Maxim Mikhailov, Yakovlev and Kliuka. Uh, you already know before the match and you have it uh, tested uh, the last match uh, that you can't attack over this block. Mikhailov is over 2 meters, uh, Yakovlev uh, jumps over 360 centimeters and Kliuka with his 209 centimeters is also not a weakness on the block. What are your options? Firstly, you can hit like a suicide trying to jump the wall. You are preparing to attack, uh, close your eyes and with maximum force and aggression you want to break uh, through the Russian's block. You don't look uh, to see if your attack is going to the outside player or the blocker. You just want to break the block. 
I probably don't need to tell you how it's uh, gonna turn out. Russian players have been training for this situation since they were kids. You have almost uh, zero chance of success. Rather expect the ball to bounce uh, twice as fast uh, off the block under your feet and it may even take off your shoe. Or you are in the same situation, you still want to attack with uh, maximum aggressiveness. But uh, you are no longer going in as a suicide attacker. Instead, you know that your attack into the middle blocker has the least chance of success. You know that uh, if you attack into the forearms of the blocking players, you also have little chance of success. So you decide to attack and you want to play your attack on the fingertips of the outside players on the block. When you are in uh, Erwin Engapet's uh, position, you know um, you can play this attack into field because you are not jumping higher than the Russian's block. You need to aim your attack uh, far out of the court, uh, somewhere behind the uh, advertising panels. Then you have a chance to hit their fingertips and make a point out of this difficult situation. If you can do that and learn to use this type of attack, you can be successful against the tallest block uh, in the world with this example, I wanted to show you that uh, maximum aggression does not mean mindless hitting. Even with maximum aggressiveness, you have to think, look for the spot on or next to the block uh, where you have the best chance of scoring a point. In my career, I have seen plenty of uh, courageous attackers who didn't let this uh, advice explain itself and instead uh, pounded the attacks uh, with closed eyes and were mostly unsuccessful. Aggression is about taking advantage of every opportunity to score a point. When I talk about being aggressive in attack, I'm talking also about doing my best to make a point. Sometimes that means uh, I jump up and hit the ball with all my power. But it also means that I try to take advantage of any situation to score points offensively. Because being maximally aggressive is not only about attacking where everyone in the hall knows that you are not going to have an easy situation in attack against a triple block. Maximum aggressiveness uh, is also about uh, taking advantage of a non-standard situation to score points in attack. Sometimes it involves the ball flying over to your side after the opponent's defense. A great example of this is again watching Erwin and Gapet, who often attacks the ball immediately after his teammate has defended uh, it in the field. With this uh, ultimate aggressiveness, sometimes there will be a surprise pipe like uh, Erwin and Gapet plays. But sometimes uh, it will also be a situation where your team defends the ball in the field, fails to pass to the outside hitter to attack from a high set. You are the blocker standing at the net with your back uh, turned to it. The ball is flying towards you, it's over you. And you have the option to either play the ball to the other side uh, to be sure, bumping over your head, or you risk uh, turn quickly, uh, you jump a little bit and use power tip to the middle of the court to try to score a point by attacking. I consider this to be aggressive offense as well, and many coaches give similar advice to their players. As you can see, maximum aggressiveness in attack uh, takes many forms, yet uh, it is not an all or nothing path, uh, it is not a bet on red or black like in roulette, it is not 50 by 50 situation like in a coin flip, it is not in a symbolic sense a suicidal attack by the attacker. It's uh, an attack with maximum jump and maximum power that every attacking player should use most often, or rather have it uh, practiced the most. Therefore, focus on this type of attack. Uh, on the other hand, it doesn't mean that I go 100% into all sets, that I have to solve all sets with maximum force. The head and thinking about the attack was and will be important, but also using non-standard situations where I can surprise the opponent is effective. Powerful attacking is undoubtedly one of the duties of every attacker, but don't forget about other types of attacks as well. The more type of attacks and ways of attacking you know and master, the better player you will be. I believe uh, these tips uh, on how to think about aggressive attack will help you to become a better player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.